be two degrees in Sacramento, maybe. We've had some of the worst like weather luck in the season. It's very, it was so nice yesterday to get out here. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, just uh, after a game like San Antonio, is this type of game where you find a lot you can pull and teach and show the guys about what, the, what went wrong and what they could have done differently? Yeah. Yes, no, but I think the quality of our time, the quantity of our time is so limited that I want the message to stay positive. Uh, I'm actually pretty impressed that we're as far ahead. I mean, to have that nickname, it was like, I thought that would come in April. And, it came. and, you know, I know the Knicks are a below average team and they struggle right now, but... I saw them beat Toronto. I saw them beat Detroit. And we, we, you know, we seemed like we got it. And this is the truth. San Antonio has always covered this type of offense at a very high level. They had to do it against Phoenix with Steve Nash a long time ago. You know, they were when we first played it in Denver. They were a nightmare. You know, they, they, they did exactly kind of what they did to us. You know, forced us into. We don't make these easy shots that we get, and then we force it and get bad shots. And the frustration sets in, and they, and they, you know, they knock down shots. And the momentum they got from making some good shots also was a, a, a demise, a reason for our demise. And even though it was a small, small sample with you, but just the seven games is still probably the best they played over a two-week span, just going back to November. That's surprising that they've just kind of been able to kind of pick up in that, in that regard? I think, it's, I think it shows a little character in their heart, substance of their, substance of their soul a little bit. You know, they're, they're tired of this, and hopefully they see a, a light at the end of the tunnel and an energy that we can finish the season with uh, intensity and enthusiasm. You've been able to get Nick in earlier this last couple of games. The games where he didn't play, with her things he wanted him to kind of watch, observe, and to pick up on? I, I don't know, you know, like, I don't like playing 10 and 11 men. It's hard. It's easier for the, me to rotate in the 8 or 9, 10 men guys. I think right now, I, I, you know, it's, it's hard. You know, tell me what's going to be out there with two minutes ago in the first quarter, and I'll answer it then. But you know, Nick's, Nick's I, I hope he plays tonight. I think he will play tonight. But if the scoreboard tells me he shouldn't play tonight, he will play tonight. Coach, what teams It's hard to say because Derek's not, I mean, Darren's not here. Uh, yeah, we're playing with two basically very young or totally not nobody in our league has been with the team two weeks. And, so, uh, yeah, I think it's a, a team that with a couple of tweets and can contend for a playoff team next year. I think you know, it's the type of team that I think that we do some good decisions, make some good decisions in the summer zone. We should be in the low 40s or high mid 40s. And if they change the system to, to where the top 16 teams make the playoffs, they might give us a chance. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.